Thank you very much for joining us once again. Welcome back. FTA has already issued two public clarifications on the classification of the property. We will discuss both of the clarifications. Moreover, we will see there are some exceptions of the residential property. So we will discuss that exceptions as well. We have already discussed what is real estate. We have already discussed different classes of real estate. Now we are going to discuss labor accommodation. There are some sort of confusion in the market about the supply of the labor accommodation. A lot of people were thinking it will be supply of residential property or it can be considered a supply of commercial property, a supply as a serviced apartment. This is the basic definition of a residential property. If the property is being owned by employees as a principal place for building which is fixed to the ground, building has been constructed or converted with the lawful authority and this is not hotel, not motel, not bed, breakfast establishment or serviced apartment. If these conditions are being met then we can say that the supply of the labor accommodation is a residential property. Moreover, whenever this supply is being made, some services, some additional services are incidental to the supply, some are non-incidental to the supply. So FTA has given this clarification in its public clarification number three. They said this cleaning of the communal area, maintenance, general maintenance, pest control, garbage collection, securities, utilities and access to the facilities for the residents for themselves like facilities, gym, pool, prayer room, all the things, all these services are incidental to the supply of the labor accommodation. If labor accommodation is being provided and these incidental services are being provided also, so the classification of the labor accommodation will be considered a residential supply of labor accommodation. On the other hand, FTA has mentioned in its public clarification, there are some sort of non-incidental additional services also. If these non-incidental services are telephone and internet is being provided, cleaning of the room specifically, this is not a general cleaning, this is specific cleaning of the rooms, laundry services are being provided, catering facility is being provided, maintenance, this is not a general maintenance, this is a specific maintenance services are being provided. So if these services are being provided along with the supply of the labor accommodation, then they said this supply of the labor accommodation will be considered a serviced labor accommodation. And it has already been mentioned in the basic definition of the residential property, if this is a serviced apartment, then it will not be considered a supply of the residential property but it will be considered supply of the commercial property. So we can summarize our discussion here if labor accommodation is being provided along with the incidental additional services so it will not change the status of the labor accommodation it will be considered a residential supply. On the other hand if the labor accommodation is being provided along with the non-incidental services then it will be considered a service apartment and supply of the service apartment is not the supply of residential property. Moreover FTA said that the supplier of the labor accommodation should also consider whether they are making a single composite supply or mixed supply. So they said it will be considered a single composite. So they said if this is a single composite supply, the entire consideration will be subject to tax based upon the principal component. On the other hand, if this is a mixed supply, then in this situation when a mixed supply is being made, each component will be subject to tax based upon its own criteria of taxability. Moreover, when we can establish this is a single composite supply, they have mentioned this thing into the public clarification also. They said might be principal component and along with this Further components are being supplied but the supply of the other components is compulsory or necessary to make the supply of the principal component. 
then it will be considered a single component supply or they said supply which has two or more elements so closely linked as to form a single supply which would be impossible or unnatural to split so still it will be considered a single composite supply so whenever a single composite supply is being made all the component of the supply are supplied by the single supplier we need to look into this also moreover the price of the different components of the supply is not separately identified or charged by the supplier so these are the basically conditions so first condition is a single composite supply second condition is supplier is the same supplier of all component third category the price is not being identified and charged separately then in this situation we will assume this is a single composite supply and entire consideration will be subject to tax based upon the principal component of the supply this is vat public clarification number 3 hopefully it will be fine for everyone so let's move forward and discuss public clarification number 8 which is farm houses and farm land i have gone through this public clarification honestly speaking i have not find anything new in this clarification this is pure interpretation of the law nothing other than this because everything they have already mentioned in the law as well as in the regulations also okay let's start it for the farm houses the farm houses we know this the basic definition of the residential property is occupied by the residents as a principal place of business this is lawfully constructed fixed to the ground and this is not supply of hotel motel or service department so if if anything else is being supplied like suppose i will say this is not a principal place of residence then it will not be considered residential property if this is not fixed to the ground it will not be considered residential property if it has not been constructed or converted with lawful authority definitely it will not be residential property or other and if this is a hotel motel or service apartment the itself reflect this will be not be considered a residential property so it will be considered a commercial supply of the real estate so the primary thing is we need to look into the conditions if the basic definition of the residential property is being met it will be considered residential property if the basic definition of the residential property is being impaired then it will be considered commercial property farm land farm land again nothing new in this as well this is a very basic definition if this is a open if there is any open plot of land on the open plot of land there is a building there is a partially completed building or there is a civil engineering work then it will be considered a commercial real estate otherwise it will be considered a bare land it doesn't matter whether you are using that plot of land for commercial supply or farming either you are not using it doesn't matter we need to stick to the basic definition once again yes the wet treatment of a supply of a farm as a whole might be comprising both the commercial as well as residential buildings as well if this is the case then supplier will be liable to consider is this a composite supply or is this is a mixed supply if this is a composite supply then taxation based upon the principal component if this is a mixed supplier then each component will be subject to tax separately hopefully it will be very clear for all of you next exemption of residential building Article forty three one of regulation states the supply of residential building is exempt unless it is zero rated, where the lease is more than six months. The supply of the residential building is exempt only where the lease is more than six months, or the tenant of the property is a holder of the emirates ID. So in these two conditions the supply of the residential property will be considered exempt or zero rated on the vice versa situation assuming if the tenant doesn't have emirates id or supply is being made for a period less than 6 months then it will not be considered exempt or zero rated supply it will be considered commercial supply of the property thank you very much for joining us